It's time for the last Friday show of the school year and my last time hosting for Blue Jay Journal TV. Here are your announcements and more from Washington High School and our community. Show number seven of Blue Jay Journal TV is ready. It's on our YouTube channel and can be found at our website at www.bluejayjournal.com. The Franklin County Relay for Life was scheduled for June 12th and has been postponed. The Jordan Shear Children's Relay has been postponed along with this. New dates are still to be determined by the American Cancer Society. More information will come soon. We would like to thank our three Blue Jay Journal TV seniors for all their hard work this school year. We are thankful for Eric, Megan, and Kirsten and wish them all the best. Congratulations to the first four students at WHS to complete the Advanced Placement Capstone Program. They are Elizabeth Derner, Tristan Z, Abby Vollmer, and Jenna Lepker. Advanced Placement Capstone is a two-year program including college-level reading, writing, and research. In June, they will be honored with either a capstone certificate or diploma depending on their scores. He always made me smile. She was always laughing. They both were so much fun. When they were together, they were the life of the party. I just wish that someone had taken his keys. I saw her get into the truck with him. We both knew they shouldn't have been driving. I cannot believe we lost them both. I wish that I could go back in time. I wish I had spoken up. I wish I had taken his keys. If you see a friend is about to drive impaired, speak up, take their keys, do something. Your actions can save a life. It is important to make sure you are reading all the emails and letters sent to you and your parents from the school district. Also visit the school district websites for updates too. A lot of important information about things like class rings, prom, graduation, how we are being graded for our work this quarter, and more have been covered. Make sure you stay informed and up to date on information that is being shared. Right now, it looks like Summer School 2020 is happening. It will take place online. Also, due to COVID-19, we will not be able to offer PE and driver's ed. Visit the school district website or talk to your guidance counselor soon for more information about what classes you should take over the summer. Blue Jay Journal TV just got the results from the journalism STL contest. We took home a superior rating for our TV show and an excellent rating for our website. We also won Best in Show for the Special Project Video category, Best in Show, in Broadcast Sports and Best in Show in Broadcast Feature Story. Additionally, we picked up excellent rating in both Broadcast News and in Broadcast Public Service Announcement. Hey Blue Jays, this week we're going to the Netherlands. I think. Yeah, that's where we're going. Today I'm going to be trying Maltesers. I'm pretty sure I've had these before. It's like a milk chocolate thing. It's more chocolate though. So we all know Kirsten loves chocolate. I really can't read any of this. Oh, that was a big whiff of chocolate. So it's just a little ball. It really just tastes like an off-brand Whopper. I don't like it though. D because like the inside is good because it's crunchy, but the chocolate just takes over way too much and not my thing. But this is my last time doing a Blue Jays try, so don't forget to try something new, Blue Jays. Even though they have not been able to meet in person, the Environmental Club has kept in touch during fourth quarter. Recently, members did a nature scavenger hunt and shared the results with each other in the form of photo collages. Club members are hopeful that everyone is enjoying the great outdoors safely and responsibly during this time. Remember, this is our last Friday show of the school year, but you can still check out our website and social media accounts over the summer. More blogs and updates will be coming over the summer months. Until then, remember to finish the school year strong, Blue Jays. Rosie came to our shelter because her owner passed away. Rosie is eight years old and has diabetes. She has really turned a corner since beginning her insulin and special diet. Her coat has become shiny and soft. Her eyes have a new bright glow and she is very talkative and just loves attention. Her favorite place to lounge is on her shelf. If you have room in your life for a cat with special medical needs, but also with a lot of love to share, call the shelter at 636-583-4300 to book an appointment to meet Rosie. Rosie's adoption fee has been paid by Jim Fury of State Farm Insurance in Washington. The staff and volunteers of Franklin County Humane Society are thankful Blue Jays. We have featured 27 different homeless pets this school year on the Friday show and 22 have found their forever homes. A few of our recently featured pets are still looking for a home, 
So if Summer finds you looking for a new cat or dog, don't forget about the Franklin County Humane Society. It is time for your photos of the week, taken by Photography 1 and 2 students at WHS. Today we are going to wrap up our show a little differently. Just like our school year ended on a different note due to the coronavirus, so will our last Friday show. We hope you appreciate the following video clips. A couple of things that helped me get through COVID-19 is realizing I have four more years of soccer to play. Realizing the class of 2020 has a complete different story to tell than any other high school class. My workout room that I've created downstairs for myself has been my sanity through all of this. This is how I've stayed happy and just in a healthy mindset during this quarantine. I've also been trying to use this time to break bad habits and just like fix some parts of my life that need organizing. I have been going for walks with my family and my dog. Watching movies and crafts helps me get through quarantine. I have also made bracelets, painted and drawing that I realized I never liked before this. I have been getting through quarantine by spending a lot of time outside and keep me in contact with my family and friends. I have also got to spend a lot of time with my family before I head off to college which means a lot to me. Some things that have helped me get through quarantine are FaceTiming my friends, painting and dancing. I would say just keeping in contact with my family and my friends and then just staying active and trying to find new ways to be productive while maintaining a somewhat consistent routine is what's keeping me sane during coronavirus. So what's really helped me during being quarantined has been just having a routine and a structure to my day that's been similar to school um, because I've been really missing school. What has helped me get through all this is staying in contact with all my friends and family and always keeping myself busy. Being able to stay in touch with my friends through text and FaceTime has really helped me get through this time. Staying connected online with my friends. Whether that be like a FaceTime or a phone call or even Zoom classes I've really enjoyed. So yeah, that's what's been helpful to me. When I remember that this quarantine is temporary, it gives me motivation to keep going. What's helping me get through this is knowing that we're all in this together and it will end eventually. Yes, quarantine sucks, but at least we're all in this together. There's light at the end of this tunnel. Everything's going to be okay. That's all for this week and for this school year. I'm Megan Duncan, signing off for one last time for Blue Jay Journal TV. Thank you for watching and have a safe and healthy summer, Blue Jays. Sincerely, Blue Jay Journal TV.